The project is a 25 kilometre long deep tunnel from West London to East London and it's designed to capture the overflows from the old Victorian sewage system that currently go into the river uh, when there's a major storm in London. The Victorian sewage system was completed by Sir Joseph Bazalgette, another great civil engineer, uh, some 150 years ago. Uh, it's, a, it's a great network of, uh, of sewers across London and it's responsible for cleaning up the river significantly back then in Victorian times, cutting out cholera, etc. It was built when there were two million people living in London and it was designed for four million. Now there's nine million people living in London and the sewage system, although it's in very good condition in terms of durability, it's reached its capacity. It's a combined sewer system, which means when it rains, the water from rainfall runoff in a large part of the city goes into the same pipes as the sewage does. Then the system in a big storm uh, overflows, it reaches capacity, and it overflows through a series of combined sewer overflows, which are flat valves in the river wall up and down the tidal tent. Now in a typical year, there's something like 40 million cubic metres or 40 million tonnes of sewage goes into the river. Just to get a size of that, the volume of Wembley Stadium, if it was filled with sewage, would be just over a million cubic metres. So in a typical year, in the past, 40 times worth volume of Wembley Stadium has gone into this river. Uh, and that's had the, the effect of, of um, uh, causing problems with fish, ecology, litter, um, and other health issues uh, that is uh, unacceptable for a modern 21st century city like London. So the solution to that problem is in three parts, really. Uh, the first part is if you're gonna capture all of that sewage, you need to treat it. So five of the big London sewage treatment works have been upgraded. Also, one of the major uh, sources of overflows was in the east at Abbey Mills Sewage Pumping Station, which is rather Basil Jett's so-called Cathedral of Sewage, just south of the Olympic Park in East London. And at that location, there's a very, very large overflow into the river where a number of Basil Jett sewers combine before they're pumped up to go, to go down to the sewage treatment works. So at that location, there's a, there's a, a deep sewer tunnel, the Lee Tunnel, which is the second part of the equation. Uh, and both of those two, the upgrade of the sewage treatment works and the Lee Tunnel was completed by Thames Water back in 2015. So the final piece of the jigsaw is the Thames Tideway Tunnel. It's a £4.2 billion infrastructure project. It starts in Acton in the west, uh, where it's 30 metres deep, and it falls at about 1 in 800 down to Abbey Mills in the east, where it's 66 metres deep. It's 7.2 metres internal diameter when it's finished. That's big enough to drive three double-decker buses through it. So you see behind me uh, a jack-up barge working at the primary works here. What we do here at Blackfriars, uh, as well as at a number of other places up and down the tidal Thames, is to intercept the flows through the river wall, the, the flat valves, which are the combined sewer, sewer overflows, intercept that in a new culvert. We then take those flows uh, down a, uh, the culvert and into a drop shaft, which drops the flows between 30 and 60 metres down into the, the deep tunnel below. We're very keen on this project to, to leave a legacy behind and one of the things we want to do is to make sure we are, we, are, we are training and supporting the next generation of civil engineers on the project and also other groups as well. Um, so we have a target for ourselves as Tideway, the client, and also for our contractors building the project that one in 50 people on the project any one time must be an apprentice. And that means over the life of the project that 250 to 400 new apprentices will be formed. We also have targets for, for the employment of ex-offenders, so that people coming from that disadvantaged uh, part of society have a chance to break out of that into a new, a new career uh, in construction. Um, and we also have targets within Tideway for ensuring that we have a 50-50 male-female gender split of our, of our client operations by the end of the project. So another thing we're, 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 we're very focused on in Tideway is being innovative. Uh, providing a, an environment that, that, is, uh, that makes innovation easy for the people working on our project. And all this is designed to bring new talent into the construction industry on Tideway that can then continue 
for the rest of the industry to benefit going forward. Civil engineers worked uh, very closely with other experts to look at the hydraulics, to look at the, the site, the site the suitability of various locations to, to minimise the impact of the construction on Londoners um, and to maximise the, the value of the project for, for Londoners. For me, the Thames Tideway Tunnel is an opportunity and a privilege for me to contribute something to really changing the environment in one of the world's greatest cities, my hometown uh, and, and home for 10, moving on to 12 million people. Now, some of those, those young people now who are, who are in school or in college or even, you know, uh, very young, really this is an opportunity, this profession, to get involved in, in building something and improving the environment for the future. Uh, it's been really rewarding for me and I know it can be rewarding for everybody who comes into it. It's a fantastic opportunity to change things for the good.